All right, fam. So today I'm here to do an August and September book haul because I got two books in August that I haven't shown off properly. I think I might have mentioned them, but I haven't shown them off properly. So, and I got some books in September. You may have already seen one of them, and I perhaps have talked about another one, uh, but I'm still going to do this haul because everybody loves haul videos, right? Before, before we do that though, behold the bath print that I was talking about in my last video. Uh, isn't it fucking amazing? Uh, I'm gonna get a frame for it. It's gonna go up on my wall somewhere. Not sure where, but somewhere in the all for the game section. And it's just wonderful. Also, the sign that it came with. Um, I'm more excited about the prints than I am the sign, even though the sign is like the main thing. Um, this is, this is the sticker. Um, you can't see the stickers. They're behind me. They're the two squares. Um, but this is the sticker and then go watch the other video for the other sticker. Um, but yeah, so I got those stickers and then I'll show you my favorite art. So besides the bath print, which is also in the sign, um, this is my favorite. It's Neil with wings and he's like talking to a fox. It's just really cute. Uh, and I love it a lot. Um, but there is not strictly Andrea content in this, guys. Um, there is a lot of, um, like, there's a bunch of hairstyles for like Renee, Allison, and Dan. And there's a bunch of like outfits for Kevin. Um, and then there's one, okay, I'll show it to you because it's just, it's fantastic. Okay, this is my second favorite spread. Um, and it says, Aaron is only in it for the post-scrimmage Chipotle, and Nikki is only in it for the post-scrimmage McDonald's, and I'm just, like, amazing. With that out of the way, let's actually get into the book haul. The first two books I bought from Cece over at Problems of a Book Nerd because she was having a sale, and it had free shipping, and it had two books that I wanted to read. So the first one is Summer Bird Blue, which I just realized still has the tabs in it. I don't know if you can see, but it still has the tabs in it. And so I'm going to have to remove the tabs. But that's okay, because I really want to read this book because of the Ace Rep. Also, I think there's Arrow Rep. I think there's Arrow Ace Rep, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so excited. A contemporary. I think it deals with grief. That's all I really know about it. The other book that I got from Cece is Golden Boy. Um, I know this is about an intersex character um, and I believe there's something traumatic at the beginning um, and that's about it. That's all I know about this book. Uh, I'm really excited to read it though. And I've heard it's really good. I think Cats and Cameron gave it five stars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you know it's got to be good. So anyway, I can't wait to read this. I don't know when I'm going to read it, but I'm going to read it eventually. Because now I own it, and I have no excuse not to. Next is the book that I got in the Unplugged uh, subscription box that I got myself for September. And that is There Will Come a Darkness. Um, if you want to watch my full unboxing of that box, I will link it at the end. And you can click on it and you can go watch it. Um, it's pretty good. So uh, anyway, this book is about like, it gave me Six of Crows vibes, the summary did, but like minus the heist. There's no heist. It's about them like trying to save the world essentially. Um, but any one of them could like bring about the end of the world or something like that. I don't know much about it. Uh, I just, I read the summary on the inside, uh, and I can't even remember that very well. So, anyway, I got this book, I hear it's pretty good, um, and I don't know, the premise sounds really cool, so I, I can't wait to read it, I just don't know when I'm gonna read it. I'll read it eventually, soon-ish, maybe. I have a lot of books I want to get to, y'all. Next, for Vaultathon, I picked up The Brilliant Death. Uh, I never actually read it for Vaultathon, though, so uh, it's just gonna sit on my shelves for a hot second until I want to read it again. So, um, it's about. What is this book about? 
Um, I think it has to do with like people on the run and I think the one of them is royalty and I think there's some queer shit uh, and that's about all I can remember. I didn't bother to read the summary before I did this video, so that's what you get. Uh, I know I did it for s their, the challenge. There's a secret involved. There is a family, I believe, is one of the things. Um, and I can't remember the other challenges I put it for. So yeah, I'm useless. Um, but anyway, I got this book. I'll read it eventually, like I will all these other books. The next four books I got from the lovely Kaz over at Cats and Camera, um, and uh, they're all queer. Um, I'm not completely sure uh, what they're all about. I don't remember correctly. Um, they're in the card that she sent me, and the card is way over there on my bookshelf, the bookshelf behind me, not that bookshelf. Um, and I just, I don't want to go get it. So anyway, uh, this one's called What They Always Tell Us, and I think it's just a gay contemporary, to be honest. Um, uh, I can read the back for you, but I'm not, I'm not gonna read the back for you, because I'm lazy, um, and that would take too long. So, gay contemporary, um, and it sounds good. Um, Kaz really liked it when she read it, so I hope I like it too. That's what the sticky note inside of it says, because I, I read it thinking that it had the summary on it. It does not. Um, <laughs> but I do know what this one is about. Um, this one is about a trans girl. Uh, and that's about it. That's all I know. The next one is called A Little Bit Langston. And let me read you what she wrote inside of it. It says, this is a fun sci-fi. I think X-Men meets X-Files with gay, obviously. Um, so yeah. That's what this one's about. That's all I can tell you about it. Um, because <laughs> that's all I know. I haven't even read the back, I don't think. I have not read the back. Um, and I'm not going to because, again, that would take too long. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, this one I'm actually, like, really kind of looking forward to a lot. Because, like, after reading A Long Way to a Small Lingley Planet, I kind of really want to read some more sci-fi. So, like, I'm really excited because I, I also really like the fact that it's X-Men meets X-Files. Like, that's really cool. Um, so, anyway, I'm really actually looking forward to reading this one a lot. Um, but this one will probably be... The, the first... This one or the next one that I show you will probably be the first book that I pick up out of all of these books, to be honest. Um, so, anyway, this one sounds really good. And finally, we have Ghost Songs. I actually don't know what this is about. Um, it's a contemporary clarinet. Ooh, I played the clarinet. Oh, it looks like, okay, there's a ghost and buried treasure. Anyway, I think it's a coming of age story about a band kid who has like a ghost and like problems with his best friend. Um, it sounds interesting. I don't know. I read the back, and that's all I can tell you. I left in the, uh, the, uh, reactions of me reading the back, so hopefully that gives you a glimpse into what Ghost Songs is about. Those are not all of the books that I got in August and September because I went to BookNet Fest and got a shit ton of books at BookNet Fest, but I made a separate haul video for that, and I will link that at the end as well, so you can go check that out if you want to see all of the books that I got in August and September. But these were the ones that weren't in that video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.